everyone, here is a guide on my favorite way to cheese all the difficulties in the new 1.6 Simulator Universe expansion, Gold and Gears. The only required character is March 7th, and we will be using the Remembrance Path paired with the new OP Custom Dice Pursuit. In GNG, after clearing difficulty 5, there are 12 additional difficulties that unlock, each adding modifiers that either increase enemy stats or add additional annoying effects. The difficulty is harder than Swarm 5 as the bosses move much quicker and deal a lot more damage. This method, however, can be used pretty painlessly to clear all the way up to the highest difficulty, Conundrum 12. The highlight of this build is high survivability via freezing the enemies along with high damage output via the Remembrance Path Blessings. Your characters do not need to build any crit stats. Remembrance was already pretty strong in Swarm, but it's possibly the best path for GNG since all four of the possible end bosses are now naturally weak to ice. Since GNG lets us customize our dice faces, I will go over my dice setup first. The Pursuit dice under the Domain category is my personal favorite dice for both speed farming and clearing all the difficulties. This lets you copy domains and jump around, letting you skip all non-boss fights while still being able to collect key blessings via the Reward and Adventure domains. For the dice faces, I prefer these effects. The team setup is flexible. March 7th is a required character due to her unique ability to AoE freeze with her ulti. Ideally, she has her ascension trace unlocked to increase her freeze chance, but it is not required. The must-have blessing for this build is the 3-star blessing perfect experience fully. Dissociation is what will be doing most of the damage to all the bosses, and you will generally want to have this blessing before the plain one boss. If you're not familiar with dissociation, you can think of it like a super freeze. Normally, when enemies unfreeze, they only take a small amount of additional damage. However, if they have dissociation, they additionally take damage equal to 30% of their max HP. Normal frozen enemies looks like this. And enemies frozen with dissociation looks like this. You can kind of think of the ice spikes as icy spears about to pierce the enemy for extra damage. This blessing alone can carry a lot of your runs on the lower difficulties, and your typical combo will be freeze the enemy, hit them to spawn ice spikes, wait for them to unfreeze and take lots of damage, repeat. With just this blessing alone, however, the combo is kind of slow since you always need to wait for the enemy to unfreeze before dissociation can deal damage, making it somewhat unreliable at higher difficulties. This is where the 2-star Remembrance Blessing, Ultimate Experience Melancholia comes in. This lets you proc multiple instances of dissociation while the enemy is frozen, and you generally want to have this blessing by the time you reach the Plane 2 boss. With this blessing, you no longer need to wait for the enemy to unfreeze naturally to deal damage, and your new combo becomes Freeze the enemy, hit the enemy lots of times to pierce them with ice spikes. Repeat. If you're fast enough or get lucky with your freezes, the enemy might not even get to take a turn before it dies. In terms of the Remembrance Resonance formations, I prioritize Rich Experience since it makes all debuffs, including Freeze and Dissociation, last twice as long, so this can give you a longer window to DPS. With this strategy, you will generally be able to unlock at least one and sometimes two of the Resonance formations. There are two key parts to enabling this combo after you obtain the blessings. The first is being able to freeze the enemy, and that's where March comes in. Jumping around the map and stacking up BHR with the dice effect can help quite a bit in increasing the odds, but due to the extra stat boosts on the higher difficulties, you probably need over a thousand percent EHR to reliably have freezes. The extra EHR is also unfortunately not applied to our path resonance freeze, so you'll generally find that March will have a higher chance to freeze the enemy compared to when you use your path resonance. The second part comes after you freeze the enemy, and you generally want to ensure that you can hit them a lot of times before they unfreeze. So this means you probably don't want to freeze them if they're about to take a turn, since even if they do freeze, they will immediately unfreeze. One tip is to use March's ulti right after the enemy's first action, but before their extra actions. Since if they successfully freeze, they will skip their turn, 
and it will count as having frozen them after they took their entire turn, which usually means it will be a while before they will take their next turn and unfreeze. For the path bands at the beginning, I generally ban propagation plus either destruction or abundance. There is a propagation interplay, but I don't think it's very good since it only applies to enemies frozen by the path resonance. My general strategy is to prioritize reward domains on the first plane since those have a high chance of getting you 3 star blessings and try to obtain fully before the first plane boss. Then on the second plane, I switch over and try to prioritize adventure domains to try and look for the 2 star blessing Melancholia. If you have a lot of cosmic fragments, you can also jump around transaction domains to try and purchase those blessings directly in the shop. On the third plane, depending on my countdown and dice rerolls, I either immediately go to level my blessings and fight the boss, or I jump around a bit to collect more blessings. I generally try to keep under planar disarray 6. Some notes regarding the dice rolls. Observation is the best on the first tile if you can jump to a reward or adventure domain right away, since then you can combo them with your other blessings to copy the reward or adventure domains. Otherwise, you can use domain self to copy your current tile right next to where you want to go, or use journal perception or inspiration to increase the number of reward adventure domains so you can have a longer path after you reach it. Vandalism is mainly there to snipe the free elite domains when you're already on an adventure or reward tile path. The tiles with the double and mutation modifiers are especially nice to vandalize for the extra rewards. General Pawn Shop is what I've been taking in past Conundrum 10, since you'll gain one negative curio on each plane. Here are my blessing priorities. When choosing 3 star blessings on the other paths, you generally want to avoid the ones with bad keywords such as Suspicion or Dewdrop, since they will unlock the respective 2 star blessings which will dilute the overall pool and make it harder to get the Remembrance 2 star blessings you want. Special shout out to the Hunt blessings, Auspicious Star and Celestial Annihilation. <laughs> They're probably my two favorites to pick up along with this build. Before tackling the higher difficulties, I recommend doing some runs on the lower difficulties first to unlock more dice faces via the Trailblaze secrets, as well as the new GNG ability tree. A lot of these permanent buffs in the ability tree are quite strong and can make your runs easier. If you're getting unlucky with freezes, remember you can retry for better RNG. For relics, you'll generally want ERR and speed boots on everyone, and affect hit rate body on march and or depart. Prioritize survivability and speed, and remember that most of your damage will come from dissociation, so you do not need to prioritize damage substats on any of your characters. They just need to survive and hit lots. Some bosses are actually immune to freeze even if you reduce their freeze resist, so be sure to avoid them. TLDR, take march, go remembrance, pick up fully plus melancholia, and have fun freezing and creating spikes to deal lots of damage to the enemy. I found this strategy to both be the quickest and most reliable for clearing the higher difficulties and obtaining all the rewards. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if the video helped or if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and see you next time!